Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. This is a video that I didn't intend to make or want to make necessarily, but I thought, eh, document everything that goes on in the fish room, good or bad. This is an example of bad. So I started filming this a few days ago, um, which is why I'm doing the intro later, because at the time I just started filming because I was in a bit of a panic or trying to get things sorted at first. Um, so I just started filming what was going on. Um, so this is at the end of this, or eh, towards the end of it, but I'll take you back now to the start when I started having some problems with Megatank. For those that don't know, Megatank is my DIY large aquarium, so it's an, an 8 foot by 4 foot by 3 foot plywood tank that I built, um, housing a number of fish, and I noticed a problem in it, and I'll take you back to that now. So this is the sign that greeted me this morning. I actually noticed this the other day. It's the Oscar and Mega Tank. Um, as you can see, there's a couple of like sores there, as if he's bashed himself or been attacked by something. And I actually noticed them yesterday. Um, I came down and he was all lethargic, kind of lying at the bottom like that, not looking good. So something's clearly wrong, and I don't know whether he has just bashed himself off a rock or a bit of wood or something. Um, or if one of the other fishes had a go at them. None of the other fish in here are particularly aggressive. I have seen Brian the Grammy, like, headbutt him out the way to get to food and things like that. But not, like, maliciously. But, yeah, it's not looking great. And the other side's even worse. I didn't see the other side until I came down today. So I don't know if he's going to turn around. But basically, it looks like he's got a big wound and a big open sore on the other side. But unless he turns around, we're not going to be able to see that. And it's like your typical cotton wool horribleness. Um, I definitely didn't see that yesterday, so I don't know whether that's new or I just missed it. But yeah, it's like a big open sore there. And that is not good. And he's not going to do well in there. So, as you know, on this channel, I like to show the good as well as the bad. Um, but this is a massive tank. So this is 8 foot by 4 foot by 3 foot. There's no way I can medicate that fish in there, so I'm going to have to get him out and get him into a hospital tank. Um, so we've got that going over here, just filling up this tank which we're going to use. That's just a little two foot tank, which is far too small for him, but it's good for medication wise. Um, but the first thing that I did is, while I'm waiting for that to fill up, is obviously do a water test to make sure that there's not something systemic going wrong but the, the all the water parameters are fine and um, I did do a water change not too long ago so I was wondering oh maybe have I introduced something but all the other fish are all completely fine um, so yeah I don't know why it's happened but it's not good and he's obviously not happy and doesn't look good so we need to get him out of there get him into this hospital tank and see if we can treat it I'm just going to treat what I can see just now so um, something to make sure it doesn't get any infections or anything, see if we can treat those wounds, some kind of fungal treatment, uh, and monitor for a few days and see what goes on. So I've now got a clearer view of that, and I don't think that's an injury. That is quite bad. But to me, that looks like some kind of ulcer or something has popped. Uh, there was some like, cotton woolly stuff on it, which makes me think it's fungal. And um, that's just, he's been a bit skittish and knocked that off now. So I'm thinking some kind of antifungal, antibacterial treatment. I don't know. And I, I don't hold out much hope, but we've got to give it a go. So I'm going to try and get him out and get him into this tank. So I've temperature matched this little quarantine tank on the end here. I'll get the treatment in there, get the fish in and cross my fingers. For as much as he seems subdued over there, I have like cleared some stuff around and he has flown off in a bit of a skittish fashion. So he's still got some energy. I don't want to completely spook him. So I'm going to come in from the other side and see if I can get this big large net over him. Without causing too much consternation. Of course, every other fish immediately goes mental. Okay, not too bad. I 
only mildly soaked, but done. So he's in unmedicated. Um, it's just a waiting game now, so he can turn around, but obviously that is far too small. So this is just a, a treatment tank, a hospital tank. If I had one a little bit bigger, that would have been better. But this is the best I can do in a short time frame. Um, it is two foot front to back, so he's got a, a little bit of space. But yeah, it's far too cramped. But hopefully that treatment will get a chance to work. Um, you can see it's a little bit cottony. Which does make me think it's kind of fungal bacterial. So I've got some Escher 2000 in there which treats fungal bacterial type stuff. And we'll see how we go on. The other side's more of an open sore, like some kind of ulcer or something. But it's not for turning around. So, now we wait. Let's give him a bit of time. Okay, we're a couple of days later. Um, I'll preface this by saying, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Um, but the Oscar is in this tank here. And to be fair, um, let me show you. I think he looks better. Um, he's not for showing us his war wounds quite so much, but they don't look as raw. So, if anything, I would say he is healing. So he's getting there, this treatment, you're meant to just leave him for a bit. Um, without changing water so another couple of days before we give him a water change but yeah things are yeah he doesn't look as bad as he he first did so that's that but we have a new and more concerning issue because like I say I don't really know what's going on so in mega tank here You'll see all these little shiny bits. They are scales. Uh, Brian had some of them on his mouth and face. And down here is my flag tail, which is looking pretty beat up. Still alive, but obviously upside down. And I think missing an eye, which is not good. And I don't know what's going on. So I was sat over there where I do my work I was on a call and I heard an almighty commotion from in here. Splashing, banging, lids getting hit. Um, lasted, I don't know, felt like a, a minute, but it was probably about 10 seconds. And by the time I finished my call and came back over, the flag tail was like that in there. And like I say, Brian had a couple of those scales on his face. I don't know if Brian's gone rogue, so Brian, the giant Garami, they do have a bit of a, a reputation for being quite aggressive, but I've never seen him be aggressive before. I've, I've seen him chase the Oscar a couple of times, um, when he had Gordon in here, he would annoy Gordon a little bit, but nothing that ever escalated anywhere, and like, there's all these silver dollars in here that swim around him, and he's never gone for any of them. But I don't know if he has now gone rogue and turned. But we've got this fish over here, so that's not good. So I need to get him out and see what's going on, see whether I can save him. But God, upside down is never a good sign. So I've got this big tote because I've not got any tanks that are big enough to, because he's obviously, he's a lot bigger than the Oscar. He's well over a foot, I would say. And so I've got this big tote, filled that with water. I'll get an air stone in there or a filter and some uh, heaters to keep it warm. Uh, but I'll get him out and put him in there, so I'll check back in once I've done that. So, flag tail wise, I can't remember what I've filmed now, but I set up the tote down here. The fish wouldn't stay upright, um, so I tried to use like a series of nets and sponges and things to kind of prop it up. Um, I've just taken my daughter to her dance class and come back, and unfortunately the fish has died. So, I can't say I'm completely surprised, it looked like it was in a bad way. It couldn't right itself. It couldn't really swim, um, so yeah, that's what happened. Now, I'm going to show you the fish, so viewer beware, this is a bit gruesome, but I thought it might be important, um, because some things have changed now that I can see it properly, I, I can see what's going on, and um, I'll show you what I mean anyway. 
so this is the fish here. So there is a bit of redness uh, towards the tail and stuff, but to be honest, that didn't show up until it died. Um, if I can show you what I thought was the eye missing. I don't know how well you can see that, but it is actually there. It's just covered over with this white stuff, which is what I saw when it was in the tank. Um, I don't know if that's just some kind of trauma or something, but underneath that white stuff, you can actually see the eye and it's all intact. Um, and it's the same on the other side. That The eye is actually there, which just covered over this white thing. So I don't know if I've unfairly blamed one of the other fish for attacking this, or if it's just spooked in some way and caused itself a massive trauma if it's tried to jump or it's swam really fast into a, one of the rocks or one of the bits of wood or a decoration or something but there's no other so that's what I could see when it was in the tank was it was basically in this position but it just didn't look as red and stuff on the body but it looked like the eye was gone, but now on closer inspection you can see it is actually there. So I still don't actually know what has happened. Obviously the swim bladder is gone and that was part of it, but I don't think that was the thing that caused it. That's probably the thing that finished it off. Um, oh, all this stuff here was just part of a contraption I was using to kind of prop it up, see if I could get it upright, see if it could recover at all. But unfortunately it has not made it. So, um, the Oscar is still in that hospital tank and, to be fair, does seem to be recovering. Um, so I don't know if this is just a massive coincidence. I tend to not believe in coincidences. So I don't know if the Oscar just got sick or if he did have some kind of confrontation and maybe, again, hurt himself by swimming into a rock or a decoration and that's just got worse over the course of a day or two. Um, I have spent all day today, so this is the end of the day when I found the flag tail this morning, it's now this evening, um, and I've spent all day today watching this tank, watching the behaviour of the giant Garami Brian. There's um, several, a dozen or so silver dollars in there. He's not shown any aggression to any of the other fish at all. And to be fair, he wasn't showing any aggression to the flag tail when it was in there either. So I may have been a bit harsh on the Grammy, just knowing that they do have a bit of a reputation for being aggressive sometimes. But mm, I just don't know. And that's the worst thing about this is I don't know. I don't know what has happened. I don't know what's going on. Just came to edit that and noticed that the microphone completely died at that point. So I missed off the end of the video. What I was going on to say was I do have cameras on Mega Tank, but they just um, provide live views so there's no footage to review so I'm gonna have a look at that and see if I can get something there that can record so if something like this does happen again I can at least go back and look at the footage and see if I can figure out what's going on because it like I say it's one of the most frustrating things to not know what's happened because if you don't know you can't fix it or you can't change it and um, everyone makes mistakes so if I've done something wrong I would like to learn from it and change it so as a doesn't happen again or reduce the possibility of it happening again um, but I just wanted to make the video it, both in case it helps someone else and in case one of you can help me if you've spotted something that right I've seen that before that's because of this and um, so please leave comments if you have anything to contribute or to share <laughs> take it with a pinch of salt if I don't get back to you I don't mean to offend anyone but I have been asking people on the internet for the last few days and various forums and things like that and it's not always the most productive thing to try and garner help from the internet. So you ask you ask a hundred people for their opinion, you get a hundred different opinions. Uh, and they can't all be true. So a lot of them are mutually exclusive. So please, uh, I'm not trying to be rude if I ignore your comments. I'm not trying to ignore your comments if you leave them. They, they are useful. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you the facts of what happened, document what's gone on. So as you've got it there, I, I do try to share all the good things and the bad things that go on in the fish room and with the hobby um, but hopefully the next one will be more positive and more uh, productive and not quite as gruesome um, so Friday night 9pm come and join the live stream if you want to discuss this a bit more or forget about it altogether and talk about everything else but thanks for joining me um, see you in the next one